uh, in this tutorial, uh, we want to see how we can calculate the uh, vapor pressure of a solution uh, when the solute given is an ionic uh, solute. Uh, example, uh, calculate the vapor pressure of a solution prepared by mixing 40.0 grams of solid uh, sodium sulfate molar mass uh, given uh, with 185 grams of water at 293 Kelvin. The vapor pressure of water at 293 Kelvin is 23.76 tau. Solution. Uh, first, we need to calculate um, the moles of water. So, moles of water, the grams of water given is 185. 185 grams of um, molar mass, 18.02 grams per mole, uh, which will give us, when we do the calculation, we'll get um, a 10.27. 10.27 moles of water. Then we calculate the moles of sodium sulfate. Moles of sodium sulfate. Uh, grams of sodium sulfate given is 40.0 grams of uh, molar mass, 142.05 gram per mole. Then we calculate, we'll get. Uh, uh, 0.28 0 0.28 moles sodium sulfate now in this case since sodium sulfate is an ionic uh, solid it will dissolve in water uh, producing uh, two moles of sodium ion and one more of sulfate ion so this one in water we will dissociate to form sodium and sulfate ion. Then we balance the equation. We have two, two moles of sodium, then two, one more. So now the the total uh, the solute when this solute now dissolves in water, it will produce the solute uh, uh, particles which are three times the number of moles. So now we are going to, to multiply the number of moles produced by three. That would be now the total moles of solute in this solution. So now we calculate the moles of solute in the solution moles of solute in the solution is equal to since we have two two moles plus one more which is three so now we'll say three times the number of moles which is 0 0.28 then will give us now the total number of moles of solute uh, in this solution then we we'll do the multiplication we'll get 0 0.84 moles so this is the total number of moles in this solution. Then I will use those number of moles to, to calculate the mole fraction. We need to calculate now the mole fraction of water. Mole fraction of water is equal to moles of water over moles of water plus moles of sodium sulfate. In this case, uh, moles of water, uh, we have 10.27 moles over moles of water, 10.27 plus moles of sodium sulfate, 0.84 moles, which is equal to 10.27 moles over, uh, we add, uh, we'll get 11.11 uh, .11 moles, then the moles will cancel, when we divide, we'll get uh, 0 0.92, 0 0.92, so that is the mole ratio of water, then now we use the mole ratio of water 
uh, to calculate to calculate the the vapor pressure of the of the solution. So the mass of water calculated is zero point nine two. Using Rouse law. Vapor pressure of a solution is given by more ratio of a solvent times vapor pressure of the pure solvent. In this case, our solvent is water. So we have more ratio of water times vapor pressure of water. So which is equal to more ratio of water we found 0.92 then the vapor pressure of pure water given is 23.76 so then we multiply we we'll get 21.68 so okay so this is how we can calculate the vapor pressure of a solution when the solute is an ionic compound. You need to dissociate the, 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 the solute, then you get the total number of the moles, then you, you do the multiplication. In the next tutorial, we will look at uh, uh, boiling point elevation and freezing point depression. Don't forget to sub subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.